WrestleMania Zero, the lost WrestleMania. I got to say, I am a huge fan of when it comes to wrestling. WWE is like home for me. Seeing my favorite wrestlers, it was just a heartwarming experience. One day I walked to a store that had a huge going out of business, that had a huge going, going out of business sign. They offer everything at the store for 75% off. And then I saw it. Lots of wrestling merchandise. I, I even found a couple of classes like WWF In Your House, Armageddon, Valentine's Day Massacre, and, Unforg and even Unforgiven and Backlash. I saw another old classic that I loved dearly. I still have it in my collection today. It was WWE Judgment Day 2003 and one of the best out of, WWE ju about, out of Judgment Day ever in my opinion. I even saw some current WWE merchandise. I saw The Beast in the East, WWE Payback, WWE Fastlane, and even TLC, and, some, and also Elimination Chamber and Royal Rumble. Just then it caught the corner of my eye. A WrestleMania box set. I was like, a WrestleMania box set? Oh yeah, I must have this. I went up to the cashier and he paid me for the WrestleMania box set. It said on the DVD box set that it included every single WrestleMania pay-per-view event. When I got that comb, I put it in my Xbox One. The screen was black for four minutes straight. No WrestleMania content whatsoever. After four minutes of a black screen, the FBI warning screen showed up. Five seconds later, it disappeared and the WWE Home Video logo appeared. The main, the main menu screen showed pictures from, of matches from some WrestleMania events. I looked I selected the event selector. It stunned my eye. Every single WrestleMania pay-per-view event ever aired on television and on WWE Network was on this box set. WrestleMania 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, and 33 were all on there. My favorite was WrestleMania 2 and in my opinion, one of the best ones. But my curiosity got the best of me. And I looked for a secret here in WrestleMania. It showed up nothing. I kept going to do it, but nothing happened. After five minutes of trying, I gave up. But just as I was about to leave, my controller started moving on its own. It kept going right, but nothing happened. But just then, it tried to find another solution to the problem. It went left. It went back through every single WrestleMania until it went to WrestleMania 1. My controller stopped at this point. No, it didn't stop working. It just stopped acting strange. My, curi my curiosity got the best of me again, and I went right to see if there was a secret WrestleMania, and I got a result. I got a result! It was titled number 34, WrestleMania Zero. I found it. I actually can't believe I found our lost WrestleMania. No one ever talked about this. But why? Well, my, my, well, my controller started acting weird again, and he hit eight on his own. The WrestleMania Zero logo appeared, and yet there was only one match. A 100-man All-Star Battle Royale. What was strange, it, it said WrestleMania Zero took place on January 2nd, 1984. But that could have not been the case. The first WrestleMania took place on March 31st, 1985. I went ahead and selected the All-Star, 100-man All-Star Battle Royale. Of course, Battle Royale has started with every men in the ring. Of course, that's what happened. Here's here's something of what I saw. I kept going back back onto the match daily. Day one, match starts off normally. Every wrestler gets a few hits to another one. Somehow, Andre the Giant was the first one to be eliminated. How could Andre the Giant be eliminated so easily? The Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase was in this match, as did his familiar like ha 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 scene in the Attitude Era. Day two. I'm starting to see current day wrestlers in this WrestleMania battle. How could the Big Show be in WrestleMania this early? He didn't. Even, he didn't come around to the Attitude Era. No, now I am positive of it. No, I am positive of it. The Big Show got eliminated just as easily as Under the Giant did. Was this WrestleMania supposed to be a big setup, or was it something darker? Day three, I start started to hear some sizzling from my speakers. I, I, I was os I was honestly sure of it. The freaking ring inferno was just lit. How how much pain could a wrestler take? You turned a battle royale into a battle royale inferno match. Day four, mankind got eliminated, and it wasn't normal when he did get eliminated. Painfully, 
who is painfully screaming in agony ah! as the inferno as the inferno burned him. He started he started to sizzle like bacon. And I, at, at the same time, I saw mankind on the floor. The rock I eliminated. When I saw him, he was just lying on the floor, not moving an inch, not moving an not moving an inch. Finally, mankind got up. Big relief for him. Well, at least for him. The steel cage was finally lifted down, encompassing all wrestlers currently in the arena. John Cena was kicking some butt, and not in a normal way either. Every time he kicks, punches, or does any kind of wrestling move, blood comes out of comes blood comes directly out of other wrestlers. But for other ones, he does it too. Eventually, I made one he he made one burst out orchids, and another he kicked wildly, causing their brain to fall out. I thought to myself. I am never viewing this haunted thing again.